Welcome to the last unit in Landowner 101. This unit will be about property taxes. So please find your property tax bill that should be in the packet that you received. As with all the units, the Conservation Fund is not giving legal advice and we suggest that you contact an attorney if you have legal questions. This is just a general overview of different issues. Many people don't take time to review their property tax statement. And as a result, we found that some people are overpaying. They had different buildings on their property or structures that they don't have anymore. And they're paying for those structures. And often there's special tax reductions that are available that you can take advantage of if you know about them in your state. Now examine your bill. Whose name is the tax bill being sent to? Is that who you think should be on the deed? Is the address right where the tax bill is being sent? How many acres does the tax bill say that you own? Is this the amount of acres you think you own? Is it more? Is it less? Now take a look at what your property tax value is. It should be clearly stated on your tax statement. Also compare how many acres are in agriculture or timber or land that doesn't produce revenue. Do these bills make sense? Find them on your tax statement. In some counties, the tax assessor really has not looked closely at what land is unusable, such as in swamp land, or what land is in agricultural timber use. You may have to appeal your tax statement based on what the proportional use of your land is and where you should be take, paying taxes for productive land and where you really shouldn't be paying high taxes. It's important you look at this breakdown on your tax statement. On your property walk, what structures did you see? Do you, are you paying taxes on buildings, outbuildings or homes that are no longer there? The tax assessor has absolutely no incentive or probably money to go out and check to see whether the buildings are still there. So look at your aerial photograph, compare on the ground what buildings are there, and then look at your tax statement to see what buildings is the tax assessor assessing you for. Is it right or should you appeal the number of buildings because some of them are gone. South Carolina has some good programs to reduce the amount of property tax you're paying, but you have to apply for them. One is the homestead tax reduction that takes off the first 50,000 of taxable value for people over 65, those who are legally blind, and those who are permanently disabled but you need to apply for it. There's also a 4% of fair market value tax on agricultural land that you need to apply for. And there are special assessments on timber land as well. Your county tax assessor should have the applications that you need to apply for these programs that reduce the amount of property tax you pay. Don't leave dollars on the table. South Carolina counties do not have a standard process for when you need to appeal your property taxes. So the first thing to do is go to the county tax assessor and ask the process that they follow. For most counties, you need to file a complaint in the assessor's office. Some have a formal way to do it, some have an informal way to do it. 
There's also an issue of timing for when that complaint needs to come in. For some of the assessors, you can negotiate with an assessor about, say, you no longer have a structure on the property or the amount of ag and timber land is different than what the assessor says. Some assessors, you just can't do that. Um, if you don't find satisfaction on the local county level, in South Carolina, you can go to the Administrative Court of Appeals and appeal the property tax assessment that you have. Sometimes with heirs property, it's not clear who should be paying the taxes or one person thinks the other person is gonna pay the taxes. It's very important to go in if you do find uh, delinquent taxes due to talk with a tax assessor so that they don't start taking back the property from you as the costs are expensive to get it back from a sheriff's sale. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep up to date on taxes or have good communication on negotiating a plan to pay the property taxes. If you have questions that are specific to South Carolina before, during, or after Landowner 101, I would really encourage you to call Ken at the South Carolina Association for Community Economic Development, and he can give you the resources that you need to make your property more profitable and at the same time more sustainable. So call Ken. Congratulations for finishing Landowner 101. I look forward to meeting you on the Zoom call.